Before we begin, can I just say that people don't like others stealing their maps and editing them and then releasing them as their own maps. So please be careful what you do, open up maps, see how they're made, but don't copy it because people just don't like it. There will be two stages in this tutorial. The first one will show you how to get map files into a state where you can edit them in the source SDK. And the second one will show you how to do that with proper maps from Half-Life 2, Team Fortress 2, Counter-Strike Source and all those sorts of games. When I mean map files, I mean BSPs. These BSPs are the ones that you download from map websites and they're what are made when you compile maps in the source SDK. When I mean map files, I mean BSPs. The only way you can open BSP files is if you convert them into VMF files first. There's a program to do that. I'll show you how to do it right now. In the description of this video, click on the first link and it'll come up with a website which looks a bit like this. From here, you go down to where it says download the new version here and you click there and it downloads a file called vmex098f.zip. Now the chances are that new versions will come out so the website might be slightly different by the time you go to edit it. But then again the last update was in May 2007 so it's not really being updated that much. Once it's downloaded, which will take a long time because it's 50 kilobytes, you right click on it and it click extract here. It will show three files. I just use VMEX. Double click on it and it will load up this window and then eventually this one. From here you click browse, find the BSP file you want. So say I want to open up generic aim map, whatever, .bsp. I click on it, open and decompile. It will eventually say on this scary DOS window thing done in how many seconds it takes. You can then quit the program and you'll find the VMF file for that map on your desktop. You can now load that up from the source SDK, file, open and finding the map. Simple as that. If you want to load up any of the official maps for any game such as Team Fortress 2, Portal, Half-Life 2, Counter-Strike Source, you have to use another program to get the BSP file in the first place because the source engine has all the files, but they're all packed away in GCF files inside the Steam folder. There is a, there's a very useful program which extracts these into BSP files. I'll show you how to do it right now. The second link in this video's description will come up at a website a bit like this one. From here, there are two different options, installer and archive. Now installer, you install it to your computer. I don't like doing that, so I'm just going to use the archive. All that, all that means is that you download a zip file, you extract it, and from there you can double click on it and it will load up. It's much easier in my opinion. Once again, you extract the program that you want. It will come up with these two files. Double click on the one called GCF Scape. It will come up with this program. From here you click File, Open, and you find your Steam folder. Probably in Program Files, Steam, whatever. You go to the folder called Steam Apps. And from here, you'll see loads of .gcf files. You open up the one you want. It's, you know, if you can't find it first time, just keep on clicking on ones until you find it. In my case, I want Counter-Strike Source Maps, so I'm going to double click on the one called Counter-Strike Source Shared.gcf. I can then double click on these, fol these folders and find the one that I want. So here's Maps. And from here, I have all the maps that I want. So say I want Dust 2. Of course I want Dust 2. I click on the one that I want and drag it to my desktop. I can now quit this program and I have the BSP file on my desktop. From here you do the same as you did in the first step in this tutorial by using VMEX to decompile this map. I hope this helps. Have fun.